up you guys, Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys just a huge collective haul of just some amazing pieces that I've been kind of gathering over the last couple of months or so. There's definitely gonna be a wide assortment. We got some jackets, some regular sweaters, some pants, boots. In today's video, I'm also going to be revealing my latest design collaboration with Article & Goods. If you guys have been following me for quite some time now, you would know that I designed two previous bags with them over the last like two to three years or so. Humbly speaking, every single time they have sold out. So this new collaboration is the third round and I'm bringing you guys two bags that I think you guys are really gonna like. So again, we got a little bit of everything. We got some other stuff from other brands and then I'll throw in kind of that reveal within this video as well. So needless to say, it's definitely gonna get chatty. So do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink and just kind of relax with me for a bit. As always, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, I'm really excited for today's video. As always, links, all the important information in regards to the article and good design collaboration and just any sort of additional information will be in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Kicking off this collective haul strong, we have this new in cold bucks and puffer jacket. It's their quilted bomber jacket in the translucent gray colorway. As you guys can see, just the overall like detailing of this jacket goes insane and it's definitely a Banger. Nice little quilted detail. I love the translucent gray colorway. I feel like I have yet to see a brand do something like this. And just overall, I love the fit. I've been getting so much wear out of this and I've been uploading a ton of content featuring this jacket along with the chestnut brown puffer jacket that I got from them recently as well over like on TikTok and on Instagram. And I kind of want to use this opportunity to just answer some of you guys' most frequently asked questions. So I did get a size extra large for that nice oversized crop fit. And I think if I did have to get my true size, it probably would have been a large. Large. This jacket does indeed keep me warm and overall I can just see myself getting a lot of wear out of this as I mentioned I have been I'm really glad that I picked up this piece and I feel like Cold Buxton lately has just been coming out with Banger after banger after banger. They've even kind of dabbled into like leather goods and accessories Which I really am just I love that for them and I've been following them and rocking their brand for quite some time now So this piece right here as soon as I saw it I knew I had to add it to my collection all right, so the time has come for me to share with you guys my latest design collaboration with Article & Goods. This is just one bag out of two. So before we kind of dive into the bags, let's kind of do some housekeeping, admin, important dates, all that good stuff. So these bags right here will be launching on January 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time over on the Article & Goods website. And they will, of course, just like my previous drops, will be offered in limited quantities. Definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram, on TikTok, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well and be sure to follow Article & Goods over on their social media platforms as starting from today and just forward we will be rolling out a ton of amazing content featuring these said bags. I'm really excited and I'm really happy about how the content came out to feature these said bags so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and make sure you guys follow me and stay locked in on Instagram because I will be doing a giveaway for one of you guys to win both of these said bags. So again follow me on Instagram and stay locked in for all the details over there. So as I mentioned, this is the third round design collaboration. So I didn't wanna just come through with one bag. I wanted to come through with two. And these two bags right here, specifically this first one that I'm gonna show you is such a banger. I can't hype it up enough. And this is like, if you had to think of me, my style, my outfits, my aesthetic, and just like my overall vibe in general, and kind of transform it and put it into a bag, this tote bag coming up right here is definitely it. So the first bag kicking off the third round design collaboration with Article & Goods is this tote bag that's in this dust bag right here. So of course, with every sort of bag that you get, it'll come with a custom tote bag, a really nice kind of thank you note, just kind of talking a little bit more about the brand and who I am as a creator and just like kind of my thought process when creating these bags. Keep your bags stored in this dust bag. It'll definitely come in handy. Nice little tan colorway, black drawstrings. Inside of it is this tote bag right here. Man, I'm so excited to be showing you guys this piece right here. As you guys are seeing from the bureau clips, the images, this bag truly was a labor of love and it is truly one of, if not the most beautiful kind of tote bag style bags that I have seen. On some real shit, I'm not even just saying that because I created it. Like if another brand came out with this style of bag, I would be inclined to buy it and I would be naturally gravitated towards it. So kind of diving into the bag itself, it's in this really nice, supple yet textured, amazing black leather. I'll be sure to put up all of the proper names and details on the screen. It features a really nice thick 
sturdy top handle right here. Nice little engraving in the front with just the subtle article and goods. It has this really nice kind of tag that I feel like just kind of finishes off the bag in a really nice luxurious way. It has D-rings on each side because each of these bags do come with a crossbody strap. So that's kind of like you're getting a two for one bag already. You're getting just a traditional tote bag like this. And then with the strap on the inside, you're getting, you can kind of transform it and wear it as a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag. It has a zipper, which was definitely a must for me. I feel like the beef that I have a lot of times with other tote bags is they're super nice, they're super aesthetic, but they don't have a fucking zipper and they don't close to conceal your goods. So I had to kind of do it right with this tote bag right here. The sides of the zipper kind of flap and fold down, um, but you can go ahead and there's a button like closure right here. And then the last important feature that I want to mention is the silver feet that I put on the bottom of this bag. I'm the type of person, I always have my bag with me. I carry a ton of stuff and I hate when bags don't have feet because when they touch the ground, I don't want the bottom of my bag to be touching the ground. I want it to just like chill on the said feet that every bag like this should have. So of course I had to come correct with this bag right here. Yeah, that is the first bag. Again, the tote bag from the Article and Goods round three design collaboration with myself. And overall, I just really wanted to create a bag that was elevated, was going to be timeless, something that you can hold on to and have in your wardrobe for years to come. And just a bag that was gonna stand the test of time and look even better when you do start to kind of wear it and it gets like that normal kind of natural wear and tear. I really do believe that there's a, there's a beauty in investing in pieces like this getting a ton of wear out of it and seeing the wear and tear on your said bags because quality products such as this humbly speaking when you start getting a lot of wear and tear out of it it looks nicer as the years and the time goes by so yeah like i mentioned this is definitely my baby this is out of all the bags that i've ever created with article and goods for my design collaboration this bag right here is just so special to me it was a long road getting to this bag there were so many reiterations so many kind of conversations i was so nitpicky about like just like the little details from the kind of tag that you see in the front, placement of the stamping of the brand name, the size of the zipper, the size of the D-rings, like the feet on the bottom, like truly, as you guys are seeing the behind the scenes kind of footage and stuff, that whole process was so long and this bag was supposed to drop last year in addition to the other bag, but because I wanted it to be perfect for this drop, we had to push it back and I'm super glad that we did. I can see myself getting so much wear out of this piece. I can see myself styling it up, styling it down for the fellas or even for the ladies who have more like traditional nine to five. This could be such a really great work bag. If any of you guys go to school and you kind of want to be just like on your more elevated tip, this would be such a really great school bag. And for the fellas and the ladies and just anyone in general who works a creative job and you're always holding like your cameras, your wallet, your SD card, your little tripod, even like a water bottle, extra set of clothes, or if you're just like me and you carry so much shit this tote bag is going to be perfect for you i can't hype up this tote bag enough and like i said i'll put up all the details on the screen because i'm sure i'm missing some little details um but yeah i'm really excited for this bag to drop so again january 29th is when this bag is available along with my second bag which we'll talk about now in this little dust bag right here, again, custom, nice little tan colorway with the article and goods, AG excess sort of vibe in the front is my second bag for this design collaboration. And even though I was hyping on my first one, I am just as excited for this bag right here. So this is the official reveal of the second bag for this round of design collaborations with article and goods. It's in this really nice, super supple, smooth Napa leather in this really nice, just delicious chocolate brown colorway. Can we just talk about the color of this bag first and foremost, you never see a bag in this beautiful, just perfectly toned chocolate brown color. It's either that really rich, like tan color, which there's nothing wrong with that, or it's just black or it's gray. I never see bags in this color and I feel like I took it upon myself to create a bag that was gonna be that said perfect chocolate tone and I'm really excited about how this bag came out. So kind of some features about the bag, as I mentioned, really nice upgraded smooth Napa leather. For this design collaboration, for this round, we really wanted to tap into more luxurious high-end leathers and you'll notice that when you buy the bags or if you ever were to see it in person, like these leathers, in my humble opinion, are super premium. Nice little minimal stamping of the article and goods name right here. It features a zip 
right here that kind of goes a little less than halfway for the overall kind of body. And then it has interior pockets on the inside. Your bags will come like properly stuffed as well. So that's kind of what this paper is right here. So the zipper just goes one way. And then in the back, there is a kind of like cutout slot for, you know, like a little bit more important stuff like your wallet or your bus train pass or just anything that you kind of want to keep on your body that people won't have access to. It comes with this really nice top handle strap right here. And then it also comes with a traditional crossbody strap. So as you guys can see from the images and the bureau clips, you will see on the side that both of these straps are removable with the D-rings that comes on the actual bag. So if you want to, you don't have to wear both straps. I just feel like it looks better that way. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit more elevated, but you know, for anyone who kind of just wants to carry a kind of like square like bag from the top and they don't necessarily want the crossbody strap, or if you like just the crossbody strap and you don't like the top handle strap, feel free to kind of style it up and do whatever it is that you want. But this is kind of how I would usually wear it. So I would like to kind of drop the shorter strap down and then I put this over my body like this. I could definitely see myself wearing this on a daily, just a little bit more of a casual tip, nice like oversized overcoat, a hoodie, some really nice pants and some boots, and then maybe like a fisherman beanie. Or if I wanted it to lean really casual, I would do an oversized kind of overcoat, a hoodie, cold bucks and sweatpants, maybe like some Asics and then a hat um, and just kind of have this around my shoulder or kind of like across my body and just really like tie everything together and finish it off nicely. This bag is, in my opinion, the perfect everyday bag for like your everyday stuff, you know, like going to the coffee shop, going to the city, like going thrifting, going shopping, just running errands. As I mentioned, even though I was really hyping up with that tote bag, kind of seeing this bag just like makes me appreciate just like how simple it is, but like how practical like these kind of bags are. So if you are a little bit more on the simple side, you're just looking for a new bag that you want to treat yourself to, but you don't want it to be like too big, like the tote bag, um, but you still want it to be able to fit your essentials because this fits like my camera my wallet my car keys and just a few like other little knickknacks um this bag is definitely perfect for you so before we dive into the other pieces of this haul that is it for the article and goods design collaboration round three with myself again both of those bags are going to be releasing and dropping and available for sale on january 29th at 10 a.m pacific standard time make sure you guys follow me over on instagram on TikTok and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel right here because there is going to be so much amazing content revolving around those said bags and make sure you guys stay tuned over on my Instagram because I will be hosting and running a little giveaway so that one of you guys can win both of those said bags. And real quick, I just wanna thank you guys for, you know, just constantly showing me love. There really wouldn't be this platform that I have or there really wouldn't be these cool opportunities like designing my dream bags with a cool brand like Article and Goods if it wasn't for you guys who have supported the first two drops and just like support me and my content in general. The biggest, best thing that you can do is just give this video a thumbs up, drop me some love in the comments down below and just continue to show my content love. Like truly that's what this is all about. I wanted to create products that I was really proud of, something that I can see myself having for years to come. And you know, if you have a good amount of change lying around that you kind of want to support this collaboration, feel free to do so. But by no means, don't feel pressured to at all. And nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for following me up until this point and giving me the opportunity to do cool stuff like this. All right, so that's kind of that on that. Let's dive into the rest of the pieces. I'm gonna apologize in advance because I feel like every single time with every single piece in this video, I'm just gonna keep saying, I'm really excited about this piece. I've been really wanting this piece because I feel like that's what this haul is. In addition to it being chatty, I just really wanna share with you guys like all of these pieces, they're just so amazing. Like take my bag design collaboration out of it. Like these pieces in today's haul, definitely 10 out of 10. So with that being said, the next piece is my first ever piece from Celine. I am super excited to share with you guys um, this hat. Funny story. The, a photo of Celine was on my 2022 mood board as kind of an ode that for the year of 2022, I really wanted to purchase my first Celine piece. If you guys are familiar with Celine, it is a little bit more on the pricier side, so that's why it was on my mood board. Like I don't just be casually buying this kind of stuff, um, but yeah, this is what the box looks like. Nice and packaged. And then on the inside, we have the said Celine piece. It's just a simple baseball cap in this really nice cotton twill fabric. And then in the front, it just says Celine right here. Nice little casual flex vibe. You guys already know what it is. I wear hats in almost every single video or every single outfit that I have. I'm either wearing a hat or a fisherman beanie of some sort. So naturally, the first piece that I wanted to get from Celine, which is probably the most easiest and the most affordable kind of introduction to the brand, is some sort of accessory like this. I've been getting a lot of wear out of this ever since I got it. 
it and I just really like how an elevated accessory that doesn't do too much that still allows you to kind of support the brand in a more casual and subtle way and I'm excited to kind of tap into more of like the Celine brand there's a few bags from them that they have that I really like and there's also some outer pieces like some jackets that I like from them as well the next few pieces that I'm going to mention is from one of my favorite brands lately, Carb Studios. So if you guys have been following me over on Instagram, you would know I've been like kind of sporting their stuff as of late. Uh, Carb Studios, just a little bit about the brand. They kind of focus on like more minimal, high quality, just super aesthetic and amazingly well-made pieces. They're based out of California and they create garments like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, as well as the kind of photos that you're seeing up on the screen. So I got a few things from them that I just want to share with you guys. Take what I say, like this part specifically, without a grain of salt. When I tell you that they are currently one of my favorite brands, I truly mean that. So let's get into the pieces. First up is this oversized black blazer. It comes in other colors as well. And I feel like if you guys watched me like in the earlier days of my channel, you would know I used to kind of like a little oversized blazer moment with a t-shirt underneath, some crop pants and some sneakers and like a hat of some sort. And I feel like I kind of want to tap back into styling and wearing oversized blazers and kind of reintroducing it into my wardrobe. And so when I saw this one on Carb Studios, I was like 100%. I need it and of course they gifted it me so kindly of them and I can just definitely see myself styling this up styling it down I would love to see how I style this kind of during the springtime with maybe like a white tee underneath some lighter jeans some sneakers and like that Celine cap that I was wearing the next piece up from Carb Studios is this really nice kind of light gray almost off-white creamy colored knit as you can see it features this really nice deep v-neck it is slightly oversized just like with all of their other offerings on carb just like one thing I really like about them is the fit of their garments is exactly like how I would make it if I had my own personal brand. It's not too oversized and it doesn't look like you're drowning in the pieces, but the pieces allow for like that room for just kind of a more effortless vibe if you get what I'm trying to say. All right, and then the last piece that I wanna talk about is actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This right here is their oversized shirt. If you guys followed me on Instagram, you would have seen me kind of styling up their moss green one all during like early fall going into winter. I love that shirt so much. I wear it all the time. I get just like so many compliments when I wear it as well. And so naturally, Carb Studios being the amazing generous brand that they are, they gifted me this black one. And I think the black one has kind of replaced the green one for me because I have been getting a lot of wear out of this. I love the way that it fits. I love the way that it feels. It's a little bit more thicker than just a traditional button up shirt. It almost can kind of of act and double as a overshirt. So what I mean by that is you could definitely either wear this piece as a standalone piece, kind of like how I'm wearing it right now, or you could layer it over like turtlenecks, basic tees, tank tops, even for like that more like springtime vibe or like even during the summertime. I love, again, just the overall fit. It's nice and roomy and it's nice and slightly oversized without being too exaggerated. So again, if you're looking for just high quality essentials for your wardrobe, definitely be sure to check them out. I posted about these boots right here on TikTok and that TikTok relative to like my size on TikTok definitely blew up. So shout out to you guys if you're watching me from TikTok. This boot right here is from Zara. It's the Chunky Soul Chelsea boot. I'll be sure to leave links to everything down below, but this boot right here has definitely been getting a lot of love and wear out of me as you guys can see from the top part right here. The reason why I feel like this boot is just so amazing for anyone that is kind of looking for a new kind of footwear option for this time of the year is it resembles and feels and it looks so much like the Bottega Veneta lug boots and you guys already know what it is I've been wanting those boots for the longest time but there's just something a part of me that just can't justify that $1,400 price tag I believe it is and so when I saw these at Zara and these were around $89.90 you guys kind of know how weird like the Zara pricing be um, but yeah it was around like that under $100 mark and I saw it and I tried it on and it looked and it felt very similar to the Bottega Veneta lug boots and so I think if any of you guys are like me you can appreciate a nice little designer vibe but you want to be a little bit more conscious with your money i would definitely recommend getting this boot right here you can still kind of capture and emulate that chunky boot aesthetic but you don't have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to get that there is something about mixing high and low pieces from designer brands and the more affordable brands and then translating that into an outfit. There's just something about that that works so well for my personal style and I love kind of sharing that with you guys. I personally, till this day, still value a really good affordable find and these next couple pieces are just that. This right here is a really nice kind of wool-like material varsity style jacket from Abercrombie. I've been saying it for like legit over a year now do not sleep on Abercrombie. They truly 
Julie have just elevated their overall brand. Their offerings are, in my opinion, 10 out of 10. And I think this varsity jacket definitely kind of speaks to that. It's in this really nice, like, chocolate brown color. The sleeves are in the more kind of, like, off-white creamy color. Nice little chocolate brown vibe right there with the cuff. And just overall, I feel like these types of pieces are what kind of drew me to Abercrombie when they did reinvent themselves and they kind of, like, elevated and rebranded. And so I was pleasantly surprised when I picked this up during Black Friday. I've been getting so much wear out of it. I feel like a person would kind of style this down. Really nice hoodie underneath, some workwear pants, some boots, and then like a really nice hat. Kind of keep it on the lower side. Minimal accessories, a bag of some sort, and you are good to go. So speaking of pants, I have a pair, again, from Abercrombie that I just recently picked up. This silhouette right here, like if you take anything away from this video, forget the whole like article and goods, like Stevie Solly bag collaboration or whatever. If you take away anything from this video and you purchase one thing from this video, and if you're like, Stevie, I wanna get something from this video that you truly have been wearing nonstop lately, again, I've been wearing all these things heavily lately but these pants right here are truly in my opinion just like the stevie Sole pants of 2022 and going into 2023 abercrombie continues to come out with this silhouette and they just kind of reiterate it with new colors and this chocolate brown one is a new color from them but last year i picked it up in a really nice true tan color with like a khaki color and then i picked it up in like an off-white cream color and i've just been getting so much wear out of these pants right here they're affordable they sit on a boot or on a pair of sneakers really well and they come in a ton of different sizes it went in regard to like waist or length i just feel like it's a really great bang for your buck and Truly, if I had to recommend like one pant to style up for this time of the year, it would definitely be these right here. Again, links to everything will be down below. And as I mentioned before, don't sleep on Abercrombie. Finishing off this video strong, the last couple pieces that I wanna share with you guys is from one of my other favorite brands as of late. It is called About Blank. I'm sure you guys are familiar with About Blank. They're like blowing up on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram. My homie Jack is one of the founders and designers and creators of that said brand. And so he gifted me a few pieces from their said brand. So of course I wanted to share with you guys. So this first up right here is like this utility, almost kind of like padded puffer shirt. This piece right here goes hard. I could definitely see myself getting a lot of wear out of this during this spring upcoming springtime. It just features a nice kind of like open collar at the top, nice little um, oversized pocket right here. And as I mentioned, this shirt is puffy. So you kind of still get that warmth and that like visual interest all the while coming through with just like a solid piece. This is going to be so fun to style. I love the contrast stitching throughout the piece. And overall, like about blank, just like as a brand, I really like the way that they do their fits, their cuts, and the overall, again, taking it back to social media, the branding, and just kind of the overall aesthetic in my humble opinion is 10 out of 10. And I feel like I've never seen a piece like this before. And so it's very interesting to kind of see how they took a, just like a standard utility shirt and then made it a little bit more interesting. Again, with the contrast stitching, with the puffy material, with the exaggerated pockets, the use of hardware. Um, so I'm really excited to style this piece up. And then the last couple things that they sent me is just a pair of really good basic uh, tees that they offer. It's a little bit different. They sent me a great one and they sent me a black one and each one kind of has like a variation of text. I'll be sure to throw up some photos and bureau clips and stuff, but I like this black one more than the gray one. So I'll show you guys the black one. Something about About Blank that I also really like is not only are their pieces like, of course, fire, like visually, they feel really nice and heavyweight, which is something I really like. It's not one of those bullshit Instagram brands that they just kind of like make whatever. Kind of similar to what I was saying about Carb Studios, the, all of their pieces seem very intentional and that's something I really like. And all of their pieces feel like they're going to last for a really long time. I'm excited to kind of wear this with maybe like some Cole Buxton joggers, tuck this in, get a nice like oversized fit on the top with a more kind of fitted bottom. Really nice pair of sneakers, low hat. That will kind of be like my spring summer drip. All right, you guys, and that is it for my huge collective haul featuring just some bangers that I've been collecting recently, along with my official reveal of my third design collaboration with Article and Good. As always, links to everything mentioned, worn, and just like all the finer details in regards to my collaboration with A&G will be in the description box down below. Definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and just follow me on all my various social media platforms. I've been trying to just really prioritize my channel, my content lately, and just really come through with bangers uh, for you guys. So I kind of mentioned it earlier, but if there's one thing that you could do for me, is just like support the content. Um, that's really what it comes down to. And so thank you guys for watching this video. I feel like this video is probably gonna be like closer to 30 minutes, which I don't mind. I think it's kind of, I, I think the longer videos are nice and you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So if you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up, 
comment down below just like your thoughts show me some love in there i love hearing from you guys and yeah stay tuned for all the videos to come this new year is going to be a banger with the upcoming content just heavy on like the vlogs um and i'm excited to kind of just share more with you guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace